Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to show you a few different ways to change the default sound output device in Windows 10. This can be useful if your sound is not playing, for example, and it's possible you have the wrong device. So find your speaker icon right down here. Click on that. And as you can see, there's a little arrow over here. You can click anywhere here to bring up all of your devices. As you can see, in my case, this happens to me quite a bit because... I have an Oculus Rift, I have the headset on that I'm talking on now, I have speakers, etc. So you can actually just click if you get something that's playing sound in the background in the meantime, in case you're not sure which one, and just keep switching them until you hear sound or until you pick the device you want. This is probably the easiest way, but there's other ways too. We can do it in settings. So let's do start and click on settings system sound and just like you saw down here here is the same list and while you're here if you're having trouble with sound the reason you might want to go here as opposed to the first way is quite simply you can access the troubleshooter right here you can also manage your sound devices you can disable stuff choose your default so this is really a good spot to go as well, unless you just want to quickly change devices because you can actually try and find problems here. So there you go. You can see my microphone. You can test it. And there's a lot of settings in here that can help you out if you're having a sound problem. And again, I should mention too, I mentioned the article here. Once you click on the playback device, it automatically works. So again, once you click, it's automatic. There's no OK apply none of that stuff and of course if you love the control panel let's not forget the control panel type in search control until it shows up usually pretty quick usually by the time you type con it shows up there you go all right we're going to want to click on sound where there she is and this pops up right here and as you can see all you have to do is choose one of the devices not my favorite way but what you can do is select a device or you can do right click, which again allows you to do some diagnostics, test, disable. Set as default device, which is probably what you want to do if you're changing devices. But once again, this gives you a few other ways to diagnose problems. Levels, enhancements, advanced. Choosing your channel, testing using your enhancements pretty easy and last but not least we have the game bar uh oh this is my desktop I hope I have it on so not a big fan but press the Windows key plus G there it's working and as you can see you're going to want to click on audio right here and you're going to once again see the same thing you saw everywhere else once again, click, click, click for whichever one you want to do. It's automatic. Now, again, this is the game bar, so there's not a lot of options in here, but you can change the volume and the system sounds from here. And there's some voice options as well, which is handy if you're a gamer to do a couple of quick changes to your microphone. As you can see, because I have the Oculus Rift installed, that means that I can actually have two devices, so if I'm playing a game and it's not working, and I'm not in Oculus, I need this. If I'm in Oculus, I need that. So I can quickly swap between them. And there you go. That's it. There's four different ways you can quickly change the default sound output device in Windows 10 and even diagnose problems. Bottom right-hand corner, as always, you can click subscribe if you like the video. And if you like the video, you can also click like. Easy enough. Appreciate you watching. See ya.